Hey guys, it's your girl Crazens, aka Toronto's Fave Brooklyn Girl, and I am back with a new video. Today, I wanted to do my first book review, and I'm doing none other than Shan Booty's The Game of Desire. So, let's go. I've been following Shan Boudreaux for about six years now and I was really excited when she announced earlier on this year that she'd be coming out with The Game of Desire and that she had a bunch of quizzes and workbooks to go along with that. So I mean I love quizzes, I love workbooks, I love to read so I was really interested in to get into this and especially around the subject matter of dating, knowing yourself, um, being better at um, romantic success. So. I decided to go and check out the self summary workbook and I looked at it a few times and I was very distracted because millennial life. <laughs> so millennial life happened, I was very distracted and then one day I woke up in the middle of the night and was like, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gave everything here, so why did my last relationship work out? I woke up at about 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning and I decided to complete the workbook. And completing the workbook was a lot like turning a switch on. It felt like a lot of the pieces of the puzzle of myself came together and it was like, oh, okay. A lot of that kept happening and it was just like, oh, this is why I say I said what I said that time or I say what I say in those circumstances. Oh, this is why I think certain things or this is why I act certain ways. So a lot of it was just everything coming together and trying to unravel all of that and then trying to find a way to move forward. And that is what The Game of Desire did for me. The Game of Desire is for someone who's looking for love, romantic success, trying to better their relationship with your, themselves or all of the above. If you're looking on how to flirt better, if you're looking on how to understand yourself more, if you're looking to be more confident, if you're looking to have better intimacy in relationships, if you're looking to have more successful, successful intimate relationships, this book is definitely for you. During the course of six weeks, Shampoo Dream takes five to six women, eventually it ends up being five women, on a road to discover themselves, to determine the course of their love life, to determine to revive it, to bring it back to life, and to help them identify themselves and what they want out of dating. And with some very noteworthy and unconventional methods, they find out that a lot of her tips and guidelines and a lot of the expert knowledge that she brought into the scene of dating, a lot of this stuff works. She gives you a five step-by-step -step phase where you learn to know yourself, you change things that don't work for you right now and what you would like to change to be a better you. You learn the practice of flirting, you learn the practice of how to entice people or just to be more confident. You go out there into the world and you practice and then you continue on these four steps to continue to be the person that you want to be. You could be sexy, you could be seductive, you could be smart, you could be funny, you could be cute. Whatever works for you, she shows you how to really amplify that and use that in your relationships with yourself and your relationship with others. For me, I read this from a lens of learning about myself more, so I definitely did take a lot from the book. Some of my favorite parts of the book were learning about five non-negotiables. Pick five things that are deal breakers for you that you won't compromise on. Learning about character traits that make you seductive versus character traits that can get you ghosted. Learning about how to flirt. Learning about the different ways you fail at relationships. Also learning how to switch things up in the appearance department. The most significant thing was learning about my attachment style and why the things I did. And it made a lot more sense. Like I said, a lot of the pieces of the puzzle were coming together. There was an exercise where I where Shan asked you to contact one of your exes and to ask them to give some insight on your shortcomings I was not 
happy about that, very resistant. But eventually I did it because I wanted to grow and I wanted to evolve and I wanted to be a better person. I'm not the end all or be all in what it takes to be a better person. I am because of my intuition and my guide. I can rely on that. But also it is very helpful to take some time to take outside feedback on how things are going on for you and to take that with a grain of salt and then use your intuition to sift through that information. So I believe in using my intuition as a guide but I also believe in putting myself in other people's shoes and putting myself in how they see me and how possibly I can see them in the same way. In reading this book and going to therapy I've learned that I attract a lot of emotionally unavailable men. Hi, my name is Carrie and I graduated from life school with a degree in falling in love with emotionally unavailable men, especially men who just got out of relationships or still have exes in their lives. Nice to meet you, I have references upon request. Woo child, the ghetto. It's getting ghetto up in here, girl. Oh, your chakras are blocked. Before I was walking blind, before I didn't really know what I was doing or what I was doing, all I knew was just that things were uncomfortable and this is how I reacted to things that were uncomfortable. You gotta marry him. That's Bay right there. He's the one. Yes, girl, marriage life. <laughs> I lacked two things, boundaries and I lacked self-love. And learning that was really big for me and helping to reshape the way that I think about things, reshape the way that I talk to people, the way that I'm intimate, the way that I choose to be intimate, and the way that I'm in relationships with other people. Because I had weak boundaries, I used to cut people off, be really insensitive, say things so they wouldn't want to be near me again. And that was the only way I sought to protect myself. And in learning how to to establish really loving, kind, and firm boundaries. I've been learning that I don't have to cut people off. I just need to learn how to have healthier boundaries. So that's been really big for me. I don't have to be, I don't have to be insensitive to people in order to protect myself. So I was attracting people who were on the same journey as me. The biggest thing I learned this year was really honing in on self-love, self-accountability, self-acceptance and self-awareness. Just learning those four things have been really big for me and they really change the way that I am. They change the way that I think, they change the way that I move with people, they change the way that I choose people in my life and how I choose to be intimate with them and on, on what level I choose to be intimate with them. There were things within myself that I needed to fill. My own happiness, my own peace, those were all things that I had to learn to do within myself. Coming into that has been a journey for me. Uh, it brought a lot of laughter, it brought a lot of tears. I lost people, I gained people. It's just a process of living and growing up and just being being yourself and learning to be more fully yourself and being unapologetic about that. How I got onto that road was reading The Game of Desire. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys like this book review. As a special thank you, I am doing a giveaway. I'm doing my first giveaway in a very long time and I am giving away a Shan Boudram copy signed copy of the game of desire so this giveaway this giveaway will be on instagram so head over to my instagram i'm going to be on social media everywhere on carryisms promoting this so make sure you guys connect with me and follow me on my social media instagram facebook twitter all of that stuff also sign up to my newsletter where i'm sharing a sneak peek of my upcoming book called requited so thank you guys so much I hope to see you guys for the giveaway. I hope to meet new faces and all of that. I hope the lucky winner will love reading this book because it's really good. Just like the Sean, Courtney, Stephanie, Priscilla, and Maya, this ish works. This is Vinya Carriisms coming to you live, reminding you to stay tuned and to stay true. Goodbye. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited to share this. Ah, bye. <laughs>